Good day learners. Today our topic is about graph of motion and velocity time graph or speed time graph. So we have here our speed or velocity time graph and we have our time and the x-axis. Velocity is in meter per second and our time is in second. So we have here 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, up to 12 seconds. And you have 10, 20, up to 50 meter per second. So let's have number one. An object travels uniformly at a rate of 30 meter per second. When we say speed is uniform, velocity is constant, it means that the graph of our motion is horizontal. So, and then suddenly it stops in 8 seconds. Draw the graph and find the distance up to 8 seconds. 30 meter per second, where is that 30 meter per second? It's here. So from this point, we are going to draw a horizontal line because horizontal means uniform speed or uniform velocity. So for how many seconds do we have time here? So for 8 seconds. So we are going to draw where's the 8 seconds here, here, up to here. Then we are going to draw our graph here. But after reaching 8 seconds, it suddenly stops. But in reality, it means something like the object crashes to something. So, in reality, it will be like a line going to 10, going to 9, but this one is suddenly stopped. So, we need to draw a vertical line. So, it stops here. So, we're going to draw a vertical line here. And that is the graph of an object that is traveling uniformly and then it suddenly stops moving horizontal and then suddenly it is vertical now let us find the distance so what is the distance traveled by our object from zero time up to eight seconds so distance is area under the curve and this one is our area or area under the graph so what is the area of a rectangle? It is only length times width or base times height. So the distance traveled by our object is simply the base is 8. If you want the base first, so we have 8 times this one is 30, the height. So we have 30 here. So our distance is 8 times 3, so we have 240 unit is meters. Number 2, so up, we have a body starts from rest, meaning the initial velocity is 0. So our zero velocity here is here. And gains a velocity of 40 meter per second in 8 seconds. So from here, because that one is gaining velocity from 0 up to 40 where's the 40 that is the 40 meter per second here in 8 seconds here so here from 0 is gaining speed and then travels in uniform speed or velocity for another 4 seconds so another 4 seconds so we have 8 plus 4 is 12 so it will be traveling horizontal here here up to 12 so that is our graph uh, let us say this one is region a and this one is region b if we are going to find the acceleration we have our acceleration here and our acceleration here because we have a straight line we have a constant acceleration or our acceleration is not changing. But in region B, because that is horizontal, it means that our speed or velocity is not changing when there is no change in speed or velocity 
there is no acceleration. Acceleration happens only when we have a change in speed or velocity. So let us compute here the acceleration at region A of this object. So how do we get the acceleration? The acceleration is the slope of the line in speed time graph. So here class, so we have the, so here is equal to, let's have a triangle. We can have a triangle from here and the big triangle, let's have the big triangle here. Now to get the slope, for the slope it is, we have a triangle here. This one is our region A. We form a right triangle. And this height here, this one is the rise. And this one is the step here. So let us call this one base. And we have the height. It's H over B. So that is the slope height divided by the base. So our acceleration there is equal to, so what is the height? What is the height of the triangle if you are going to have the big triangle? So from here up to here is 40, because this one is 40, minus this one is zero. So the height is 40. So we have 40 here. And the length of the base of our triangle is eight minus zero is eight so we have eight here and then we divide and our unit is five meter per second that is velocity we square it and that gives us the acceleration what is the acceleration at point b origin b it is zero what about the distance if you are going to find the distance from zero to eight seconds only then this one is a triangle. You just get the area of the triangle under the curve and then we have the distance traveled by our object up to 8 seconds here. But if we are going to find the distance up to 12 seconds, then we have the entire figure. We can uh, cut it into triangle and rectangle and then we add the two areas giving us the total area and that is the total distance or for shortcut we can see here that this shape is a trapezium so what is the area of a trapezium it's we add the two bases we add this length here and this length here because they are parallel we add the two parallel sides and divide it by 2 and then multiply it by the distance between the parallel sides. So the distance between the parallel sides is from here up to here. Now let's do the two methods. Let's first cut that one into two. We have triangle up to 8 seconds here. Let's call this one as area 1 and the rectangle here is area 2. So for area 1, is a triangle so we have one half i'll put over two for one half and the base of our triangle is eight minus zero is eight okay times the height what is the height the height is 40. so this one is 40. okay so eight times 40 is 320 divided by 2 because that is a triangle so we have here 160 meters that is the distance traveled by our object and then we still have the rectangle here okay so area 2 is equal to the base of our rectangle is 12 minus 8 is 12 minus 8 is 4 here times how high is our rectangle it is 40 so we have 40 here so 4 times 40 is also 160 meters and the total distance is we have distance total is 
320 meters. If we are going to use the formula for the area of a trapezium, so area for a trapezium is we add the two parallel bases. A let us call A is the first base, B is the second base. These two are parallel sides, meaning they will not meet. Divide it by two then multiply it by the distance between them, the perpendicular distance, and which we are going to call here H. So for our area here, first locate the parallel sides. Where are the parallel sides here? So we have four sides. We have one and two, and this one is another side, three, and we have the base, four, because that is quadrilateral. So, this and this are not parallel. This base and that one, they are parallel. Therefore, we are going to add this B. No, wait, not B. This one and this one. Let's have the longer base. 12, this one is 12, minus 0 is 12. So, we have 12 plus this one. So, that's 12 minus 8 is 4. So I'm going to add the 4 here and divide it by 2. Now, what is the distance of this parallel side to the other parallel side? So the distance is this one. So what is the distance? It is 40. So we multiply it by 40. So we have area here, which is the distance also, is 16 over 2 times 40. Area is equal to 8 times 40. So our distance is equal to 320 meters also. Okay, number three, we have this. An object is traveling at a rate of 40 meters per second. So it's here and reduces its speed to a complete stop in 8 seconds here. So, it will reduce its speed to zero. So, eight seconds is here. So, we are going to have our graph from 40. This one. So, we have that graph. Eight seconds there. Okay. Let us find the deceleration, which is acceleration also. But the sign is negative. Now, class. If our line is slanting to the right we make our triangle below that line when our line is slanting to the left we can make our triangle here on the top of the line okay so we have a triangle here you can use also this one but if you are going to use the upper part the upper triangle we will have the sign which is negative here so let's have the acceleration there and even if it's called deceleration, meaning it's slowing down. So acceleration is equal to the slope again. The slope is equal to the height of the triangle divided by the base. So we have the height here. Here is the height. And then this one is the base. So let's have the height. So here, the height of this one zero this one is zero so actually that was a zero minus 40 zero minus 40 that one is zero minus 40 there on the triangle there and then we have this one this one is the final which is eight minus zero eight minus zero so we have eight minus zero so we have negative 40 over 8 and that will give us negative 5 meter per second square the negative tells us that our speed is decreasing uniformly but the acceleration is still constant now let's find the distance distance is very easy because we have area of a triangle under the graph here so this one half 
I'll put the two here for one half. And the base is, you can see clearly the base, which is 8 times the height of our triangle, which is 40. So we have 40 here, and we have 320 divided by 2. So it is 160 unit of distance meters. Number 4, an object reduces its speed to 20 meter per second. So here's a 20 meter per second, 20 in 4 seconds. So 4 seconds is here, 20 is there. So the speed will be there. But we don't have the initial velocity. Is it from 30? Is it from 35, 40, 45, 50? If we don't have that one and that one is not given in our problem, you can just or choose 25, 30, or 40. You can have your own initial velocity because the final velocity here is 20. So let us say that you choose the 50. So you draw from 50, this one is 50, and the final here is 20. So, it is decreasing its speed because our graph is slanting to the left, like that one. After that one, and then travels uniformly for another 6 seconds. So, from here, it will travel uniformly, means horizontal, for 6 seconds. So, 6 plus 4 is 10. So, up to here is our graph. So from here up to here, and that is our graph. It doesn't say that after the 10 seconds, it reduces speed again up to 12, no, up to 10. So you can have 50 here, you can have 40, you can have 30. If the initial velocity is not given in our problem. So what is the acceleration of this line here? So the acceleration, we just get the triangle up here. So this one is 20 minus 50. So we have here 20 minus 50. This is 20 minus 50. And then we have this one. 4 minus 0 is 4. 4 minus 0 is 4. This one is final minus initial. So we have 20 minus 50. So here we have 20 minus 50 is negative 30 over 4. So our acceleration is negative, means the speed is decreasing, or we call that deceleration. And we have 15, 7.5 meter per second square. Okay, let's find the distance. The distance is, okay, you can have this one and this one also. So we have area one and we have area two. Now, if we are going to cut it into pieces, we will have a triangle here, a rectangle here, and another rectangle. But can we use the area of a trapezium here? Because this one is a trapezium here. And then we add this rectangle. So we have only two areas to calculate. So let's have the area one. So for area one, let us have the parallel sides of our trapezium. So we have this side here and this side here. You may put the symbol for parallel like that. We add this plus this divided by 2 and the distance between them is this one don't need to use this one because this side is not parallel to this side so let's have 50 the longer base of the trapezium so we have 50 minus 0 is 50 plus this one is 20 so plus 20 divided by 2. Don't forget to divide it by 2. Times how far are they from each other? It's 4 minus 0 is 4. So multiply it by 4. Plus 
what is this plus the area of the rectangle which is base times height only so 10 minus 4 so you see this one 10 minus 4 is 6 times how high is that it's 20 20 minus 0 is 20 so these two they go together this one 6 and 20 so for the total distance we have 50 plus 20 is 70 and then we have 2 here we multiply it by 4 plus this one 6 times 20 is 120 and the total distance here so we can cancel this one 4 and 2 we have 2 2 times 70 is 140 plus the 120 so our distance is equal to 0 2 plus 4 is 6 1 plus 1 is 2 so we have 260 meters up to 10 seconds